Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am trying desperately to stop this little minion from walking all over my laptop. Let's try that again. Hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Melody and today I wanted to do a really quick and easy video just unboxing a few of my bookish boxes that I've had sitting around for far too long so yeah that's what today's video is going to be I'm probably gonna be interrupted a few times by this demon right here oh my gosh she was so dramatic this is our newest kitten her name is Fallon She's adorable, I love her to death, and she is crazy, but she's also a little cuddle bug, so yeah, there's that. Try to behave, little one, okay? Let me shut up and open these two bookish boxes. So I mentioned in a previous video that bookish box had to resend me two different monthly boxes, and these are those. These are my recent boxes. These are my re- sent boxes not recent but recent i don't know okay so i have july and august 2022 bookish boxes right here we're going to start with july this month's theme for july is treasured tropes oh we got a ball cap enemies to lovers fan club is what it says if you can't already tell, I love ball caps. <laughs> I'm a ball cap kind of girl. I already have quite a big collection of ball caps, so I'm just thrilled. I'm always in need of more. And this one's actually cute. I like that it's simple. The light is kind of washing it out. It's more of a dark gray, but I like that it's simple. It's not screaming that, hey, I'm a book nerd, but if you read it, you can tell. <laughs> They're calling it a dad hat in the booklet sure to me they're ball caps or trucker hats but i've never called them dad hats so i don't know so i have this booklet with all the juicy information on the details of the things in the box and i could read to you all the details of the items in the box however i don't like doing that it makes the video a lot longer than it needs to be i stumble over my words it's a nightmare to edit so I'm gonna show you this screen right here and if you're really, really curious, you can pause it and read it. There you go, but I'm not gonna spend my time reading it. Not today, friends. All right, next up we have our candle. I love the monthly candle, we all know this. Ooh, I can already tell I like the smell of this one. This one is Leo. I do really like that. Um, if you didn't know, Bookish Box this year is doing a candle for each zodiac sign. So, of course, um, I guess, of course, July would be Leo. What is the notes on this? Featuring Poppy from Blood and Ash. Oh, I see it. Yep. It says that this smells like honeydew, lemon, lime, and ozone. Similar to our Poppy candle, but with a little twist. I was going to say, because I have right over here their large poppy candle i got this like last fall i think i've burned it a little bit it's a wood wick yeah it does smell very similar i do like this one a lot though here i'm gonna put it they are a little bit different so that's good i would have been a little bit upset if they were exactly the same i wonder why they switched from wood wick to normal wick because they used to do all their candles wood wick i don't know i really like Bookish box candles, they're great. Moving on. All right, next I pulled this out. So this is our tarot trope book sleeve. I knew that I was getting this in one of the boxes. I wasn't sure which one. Like I said at the beginning of this video, these boxes were resent to me because they were initially lost. And when I contacted Bookish Box, um, they actually asked me which trope I wanted out of the book sleeve because there's three different tropes. I think there was morally gray, enemies to lovers, and like friends to lovers. I don't remember the third one, but I got a pick, which was really cool. And I think I picked morally gray. So let's see what it looks like. 
No, I picked love triangle. That's right. I forgot I picked love triangle. And then I was nervous because I saw someone's morally gray one and I really liked it. But then this is so cool. I love the three hands reaching towards the heart. I love a good love triangle. I don't care if it's, I don't care if that's a super old tween or teen thing like Twilight ruined it for everybody, but I love a love triangle. That's personally my favorite part about Twilight is the love triangle. I just think love triangles are a beautiful breeding ground for drama. And I love a good bit of drama in my romance. So I love this. I think this is beautiful. Moving on. All right, we got another one of their metal dagger bookmarks, which uh, these are okay. They're not my favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, but this one's Throne of Glass themed, which is cool. It's gold. I love gold. I don't actually ever use these though as a bookmark because they're so metal. I don't know. <laughs> Duh. I guess what I mean by that is the metal to me just makes me scared that I'm gonna snag it on the pages, I think is why I don't gravitate towards them or actually use them. I think they're cool for props, maybe for photos, but I've yet to actually do that. But anyway, here's another metal bookmark to add to my bookmark collection. Look who came to say hi. <laughs> he said, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Thank you though. <laughs> All right. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? I think this is a sticker. It says you had me at enemies to lovers. That's cute. I do like how this um, box is all based around tropes because it's kind of a hot topic, I guess. Tropes are something that, um, they're kind of buzzwords now. Let's move on to the book. This feels really heavy. I'm not sure which book this is gonna be. I have a suspicion of what these two books are gonna be and I'm really excited for both of them. So let's see which one it. Okay, no, nope, I was not expecting this. <laughs> This is a broken blade. One moment. Oh wow, you guys. This is beautiful. I think Bookish Box has been knocking it out of the park recently and the this is no exception. Like, oh my gosh, you, you're joking me. You are joking me. We've got beautiful metallic cover here. I don't know if you can tell. I have no idea what the original cover looks like. I will do a side-by-side -side right now of the original cover and the bookish box cover. This is stunning. The sprayed edges right now. Oh, the end papers. Wow. That's pretty intense. Okay. Let's see what the naked book looks like. What do we get? Shut up. Oh my god. It's holographic. I don't think you can tell. Oh my goodness. Shut up. Yeah, you can tell right there. That is holographic. I've never had a holographic foiled stamped cover in my life. This is a dream. That is a dream come true. I am shocked and awed. I'm shocked and awed. In the back, too. Oh my gosh. This is what I mean, guys, when I say that Bookish Box has been knocking them out of the park lately. Look at it. You cannot tell me that this isn't one of the most stunning books you have ever seen. Holy hell. Like, oh my gosh. Let me try to get... Oh, shut up. I just need a moment. That is so beautiful. Ooh, look at that. I, I, wow. I have no words for that. That speaks for itself. That is one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. By the way, this book is by Melissa Blair. Oh, okay. So here's the um, reverse dust jacket, which has this beautiful red foiling.
this is really stunning too. Shout out to the artists who did this. This book is really heavy, guys. I'm telling you, it's weighty. I now know why it feels so heavy. It's because this is a 500 page book, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really look like it. It looks like it could be 300 pages, 400 pages, but this is actually a 500 page book. It's one of those books that is densely packed, I guess you could say. This is a fast paced fantasy adventure you will not be able to put down. There's fae, elves, magic, sword fighting, morally gray characters, as well as LGBTQIA and indigenous representation. Tropes featured in A Broken Blade include enemies to lovers, hidden identity, badass female protagonist, morally gray characters, and found family. So anyway, that is the book in the July box. Let me put it right up here for everybody to be able to look at for the rest of the video. I turned the lighting down a little bit. So now you can actually see the color of the hat I'm wearing. I don't know if that will make this video better or worse. We'll see. Okay, we're on to the next box. August 2022. I'm excited. And the theme for this month is Curse Breakers. Mm, let's do this. Hello, big boy. Come in, come in, child. Come in, come in, my child. Mm -mm -mm. This is my grumpy, chunky boy. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. He's very camera shy. What is this? Is this a giant tote bag? I think this has a crossbody option and a handle option. This is big. I don't know if you can tell how big this is. Holy cow. It's massive and it's pretty cool. Look at that. What's the other side look like? The same. Oh, it has some words on it. It says, the curse breaker. Bum, bum, bum. According to the booklet, it this is supposed to be Feyre from Akatar. Cool. Curse breaker. I guess she is a curse breaker in the first book, isn't she? I recently kind of recently read Akatar. It's been a while, so I don't remember the details, but I mean, the tattoos don't get, tell me Feyre. Maybe that happens in, you know, newer books, but this is nice. It's humongous, and I think I will definitely get some use out of it. All right, next. What is this? Let's do this. High Lady Tapestry. Does anybody else get the Carol King song stuck in their head or are you of this century? <laughs> but honestly, please, if somebody knows what I'm referring to when I say Carol King and tapestry, please, please, for the love of God, comment below so I don't feel alone. Okay, hold on. This is actually artwork, guys, on a fabric. I kind of wish it was just a print though, like a poster instead of a tapestry because I don't know how to hang tapestry as much as I would know how to hang a print. But this is really, really pretty. Wow. Okay, I gotta figure out what this is from. This is again featuring Feyre from A Court of Thorns and Roses. Is this box just a love letter to Feyre? Seriously. By the way, it's 51 inches by 59 inches. Okay, so in this she has tattoos, so I'm guessing at some point in the series she's gonna get tatted. Which I don't know if that is a spoiler or not, but this is actually really, really pretty. That's really pretty, and now I want to read the rest of the series because I've only read book one. Don't come for me. Let's do the candle next. We have Virgo. Shout out to the Virgos out there. Mm. I don't know who the character is off the top of my head. Mm, I really don't know what that scent that is. It's all right. It says featuring Stolas from Kingdom of Runes. And this smells like white sage and lavender. I guess it's definitely more sage than lavender. Um, I don't smell much lavender, to be honest. It still smells nice. I'll give it that. We got another book thing. Oh. Let's open the stupid bookmark. <laughs> all right. I don't love these. They, like, they all look the same after a while, let's be honest. 
This is from These Hollow Vows, which I DNF'd that book. Don't come for me. <laughs> I just did not get into that, especially the audiobook. I did not vibe with it, so I just DNF'd it. That's that. <laughs> Moving on really quickly. Okay, so I've seen this before. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the replacement because they spelled something wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was the original they sent in, I don't remember what month's box that was, uh, but they spelled Stephanie wrong. They put an A instead of an E. And so here they've corrected it. And so now I have two of these. I kind of wish they would have given the option of replacing it instead of just sending them in this box. We didn't lose an item by getting the replacement, but I just don't need two of these. And I don't just want to throw the old one, the typo one, away because I feel like that's wasteful and not necessary. Was the typo a pretty bad error on Bookish Box's part? Yeah, they definitely should not have misspelled the author's name, but it's also not something that I would have needed it to be replaced like I would have just been like yeah whatever it's a typo moving on I'll keep the thing I'll use it it's not that big a deal but I know a lot of people had a fit about it and so they replaced them all and now I have two of these which I think is honestly I think it's kind of a waste that they replaced them all they should have had the option to replace it for those who really wanted it but I think the majority of us would have been like that's okay I don't need a second one. I feel like Bookish Box wasted a lot of time and resources replacing these, which I don't think they needed to do. That's just my opinion. Let's move on from that. All right, here's the next book. I'm really hoping it's the book I want it to be. Hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> okay, it is, it is the book I wanted it to be. Oh, I'm so excited. Give me one second. I gotta get the plastic off. Oh wait, look. What? Hold on. Shut up. What is this? I'm sorry, I'm a little bit speechless. She is too shocked to speak. Or what does that mean? She was too stunned to speak. You guys, I was so excited when I heard that Rachel Griffin's newest book, Wild as the Witch, was going to be in the bookish box boxes. I was beyond excited because looking at how bookish box has been doing their books recently, I was thrilled to see what they were going to do with Rachel's new book. You guys probably don't know this, but Rachel Griffin is a newer author. This is her second book. Her debut book was The Nature of Witches, which I have on display just up here all the time. It's one of my favorite books that I read last year. I gave it five stars. Rachel Griffin has quickly become one of my favorite authors to watch for, maybe possibly one of my favorite authors of all time now. I don't know. And I'm just so excited. I'm so happy to have this beautiful edition. I, my voice is getting squeaky. I am so happy to have this beautiful edition. And I've never seen anything like this. Like, how cool is this? Hold on. Okay. Oh, it gets better. Guys, my mind is everywhere. But I think that there is a... Okay, I think I need to peel this, actually. Which makes sense because when I first looked at it, I thought that there was a plastic casing. Not that the dust jacket was plastic and see-through. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is so freaking cool. I'm... Oh my god, okay. Slow down, step by step. <laughs> okay, I will address this in one moment. I need to talk about the elephant in the room here. This illustration. The colors. Everything about it. Oh my god, there's gold foiling, can you tell that? Everything about this is... It, it's just so stunning. And the freaking sprayed edges. Who gave Bookish Box the right? Do you see this? Oh, the back is this stunning fern green with like, looks like fireflies. 
the way that this is kind of like a 360 illustration where it wraps around, I love this. And I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful sprayed edge in my life than this feather right here. The fact that we have this split complementary moment with the dark forest green with the corally red orange, oh my gosh. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to read out the artists or anything in regards to this page right here, which by the way, here it is. But I have to give a shout out to this freaking book, all right? Exclusive hardback imagery with transparent artwork page overlay dust jacket exclusive cover and overlay by at Honorable Bard. I think is how you say that. Exclusive stenciled sprayed edges by Honorable Bard. And exclusive illustrative end papers by Honorable Bard. I am just thrilled with the artwork in this already. Let's look at the end papers. Oh my god, shut up. Look at that. Oh, I love irises. Irises and feathers. And it goes so beautifully with the um, sprayed edge. Here's the author's signature. I love the owl. Oh my goodness. Shut up. Nobody told me that this would be this beautiful. I'm having a freaking heart attack. Okay, now I'm gonna figure this out. I think that this is absolutely genius, by the way. It is shiny, yeah, but the fact that we have the cover moment where we have the title and the author and this additional gold foiling and also words on the back, but we can take it off and we're left with just the art underneath, the beautiful art, I think is the most genius thing I've ever seen. I'm going on for so long about this book. Okay, <gasps> yep, I thought so. So this does peel. Oh yeah, let's see it for what it truly is. Ooh, this is satisfying. That made a world of difference. Oh my goodness. This is the most beautiful book I own. Hands down. I'm saying it now. This is it. This is the most stunning, gorgeous book. Oh, I'm obsessed. It is so reflective. You can see the camera. <laughs> this is crazy. And then look at the back. I love that. By the way, it says... What would he say if I were to tell him I cursed him? If I were to look him directly in the eye and tell him I'm a witch? When 18-year-old witch Iris Gray accidentally enacts a curse that could have dire consequences, she must team up with a boy who hates witches to make sure her magic isn't unleashed on the world. This enemies to lovers contemporary fantasy has high stakes and incorporates magic, wildlife, and a bit of romance, creating a stunning story. I love that. I love witch books, and Rachel Griffin, at least in her first book, did it so beautifully and so different than any other book I've ever read. Let me know down below if you've ever seen a book that looks like this before with the clear dust jacket. I just can't get over it. This is so freaking pretty. I am absolutely thrilled to have this special edition in my collection. It's really hard to show this without glare on camera, but this is the bookish box edition and this is the original. Anyway, I'm going to go put this at the forefront of my bookshelf. Uh, you will be seeing it in every single future video that I post. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like this video, leave a comment down below. Let's have a conversation. Is that not the most beautiful book you've ever seen? Let's talk about it. And don't forget to subscribe if you feel so inclined and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.